What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is scheduled to launch in July. There won't be a Galaxy Note 21 this year as confirmed by the co-CEO of Samsung, DJ Co. It hasn't been cancelled though but only been delayed to next year. So the next unpacked event will be headlined by the foldables, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 as well as the Galaxy Z Flip 3. We know a few things about the Z Fold 3 already such as it's gonna be the first Samsung phone to have the under display camera there will be S Pen support as well. Today we have some more new information about the handset. First, the color options of the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 have been revealed by Sam Mobile. The Z Flip 3 will be available in green, black, beige and light violet, while the Z Fold 3 will be available in green and black options. The report also mentions there is a potential for other color options as well. The storage options include 128 and 256 GB and the device will come with One UI 3.5 and Android 11. There's also a rumor that the Z Fold 3 will be splash resistant. There's no mention of any IP rating by the way. So even though it's totally possible for it to be true, I would still advise you to take it with a pinch of salt. Remember Apple's Mac vs PC ads from the 2000s? Well, Intel has hired Apple's former I mean Mac actor Justin Long to create new ads praising PCs and mocking Apple's laptops. The new ads from Intel's take on the Mac vs PC angle again and you see Justin Long mocking Apple's touch bar, the lack of multiple monitor support in M1 Macs and the grey and greyer color options for the MacBooks. One of the ads also pulls up the lack of touchscreens in Macs or 2-in-1 support and points out that you need to buy a tablet, a keyboard, a stylus and even a dongle to match what's available on Intel based laptops. Intel has also pointed out in another ad that no one really games on a Mac. After seeing these ads, the first thing that came to my mind was did some Samsung marketing people recently get job at Intel? Anyway, it's really surprising to me see all of these Apple fans get so sensitive about these ads. And I don't understand why. I mean, Apple was Intel's customer earlier and now it's a competitor. So I kinda like this response from Intel. Intel has been too nice of a company from an advertisement standpoint. I like that they are firing back and educated the audience on the shortfall of M1. But at the same time, nothing Intel showcased in these ads is an inherent advantage to Intel chips or inherent shortfalls of Apple's chips. They're referring to intentional hardware design decisions made by Apple. And while it's fair enough to criticize them, especially the touch bar, Intel's basically just standing on the shoulders of their OEMs and sweeping their own failings under the rug like they're trying to take credit for other people's work here. I mean sure, the PC market has a lot of form factor options, more color choices and it's definitely the better gaming ecosystem. But Intel CPU don't have any impact on the color of your laptops, they have nothing to do with a manufacturer making a convertible and if you're into gaming, you're buying the far superior CPUs from AMD these days anyway. Honestly, hearing people that their M1 Max battery performance lasts days make me want to cry as I need to plug in my laptop several times a day. So even though I like these ads, but Intel should actually do something first rather than going straight to the desk ads. Of course, with that being said, do let me know what do you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.